Hi, everybody. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Joel Tool. Today, I have an exciting new product. I was supposed to show it last week, but life happened, business happened. So I'm excited to show you our new product. We have so you know during COVID, I created the Save Your Hands because I hated the whole hunching over, using one hand to hold the flex shaft, one hand to hold the piece, and trying to orchestrate that. So I've been on the hunt to create a quick change save your hands. So you wouldn't have to change the collet and you can put the really thin drill bits on it and the really like one eighth size uh, drill bits or whatever you got. Hi, Margaret. So you guys look, this is my new save your hands uh, pro quick change. So do you have a side view of it? Yeah. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Karen. Hi, Margaret. Yes. Yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of there, but okay. It's fine. So that this is it. This is what it looks like. Sorry. And I put actually all you do is just twist it. Yeah, I'm going to show it in my hand. But like everything is you just twist it on and it holds everything perfectly. That's it. So it'll hold uh, a little drill bit. It'll hold like your regular size a uh, 332nd there you go and then you can even put like the the thicker ones do you guys see how this one's a little thicker it'll even hold that let me loosen that up and look at that it fits all of them it does not discriminate so not only did it hold this tiny little drill bit right here it held the regular 332nd and it holds the uh, one eighth. So everything in between, it's got like a look. Do you guys see? So this opens up. It's an infinitely adjustable jaw. Look, you see that? Dun, 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 look at that. And so it's quick and easy to use on the jewel toe. So here, let me show you guys how it works. So we'll go ahead and remove this. So I'm going to twist that. You want to do it the top part? Yeah, there you go. So I'm just going to close it like this. And so, yeah, well, they know how this save your hands goes on. You guys, so you take it like this and you just put it on the jewel tool and give it a twist. And that's it. And so now I'm going to put the one millimeter drill bit right there. Actually, let me bring it up a little higher. So I'm going to drill a bead. Right, Margaret? Margaret says she loves this idea. I know, Margaret. You don't understand. I spent nights, sleepless nights, thinking about how can I make the save your hands even quicker? Like, I want a quick change, you know? And so here we are. Hey, how are you, Teresa? Teresa's in the house, too. Uh, we got Cheryl. We got Karen. So let me show you guys how to drill a bead. I actually put a drill, a bead right here in my Jewel Tool Pearl Vice. If you guys don't know what this is, it's awesome. You can just, and you can just hold a bead, anything like, yes, you can. Hi, Nicole Richie. Nicole Richie's in the house. Yes, Cheryl. Yep, you can use it on your shelf. That's a really good idea. Okay, so let me show you guys how to drill a bead real quick. So I'm gonna turn it on. So you guys see that? It's on. Side view, beautiful. So you guys see the little drill bit right there? So I'm just gonna take the pearl vise and let it just drill right in. Boom, oh shit, I forgot to record that. And there we go. We have now, are we overhead? So I'm gonna unscrew, overhead, okay, I'm gonna unscrew. And look, I've got the hole right there. How awesome is it, right? All the way through. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what's great about it, if you guys don't know what this pearl vice is, this is great. It'll hold stones. It'll hold beads. It holds a nice uh, size. And it's got these really nice, I want to say plastic, but they're a fancy name. And these will actually hold your bead with a little concave shape and doesn't mar your stone or your bead. And it's just great. And it has a little hole right here that will guide the drill bit to make sure that it's drilling a straight hole 
right through. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I was shaking my table because he's setting up my camera. That is not the actual jewel tool vibrating like that. Let me turn that off. So let's keep going. I've got more. So do you guys see what I'm talking about? You just open it like that, boom, and take it off. And you can put anything in. I actually have, I'm going to clean up a potter die. Oh, let me here. I'm going to actually clean up a potter die. So if you guys are familiar, yo, can you get me that U UPS envelope right there on the table? So if you, hi, Glenda. Oh, thank you, Glenda. I love you. Hi, Jennifer. She did. She said, very cool. So if you guys remember on, like during COVID, Suni, our lovely Suni, sent me her Kevin Potter dies. You guys remember these? Look at this, how shiny this Potter die is. It's just been sitting around here. So I'm about to send it to her. And But I realized there was one that we started cleaning up, but we never cleaned up the inside. So I'm going to send these out to her today. And so before I do it, let me just clean one more up and we'll use. Hi, Rudy. Bonjour. Um, she says the pro vice is awesome. Thank you. Um, oh, Mingo, Mingo. He's friendly. Mingo. Freight for what? Okay, anyway, so I'm going to clean up. I don't know what he's for. Oh, we're going to clean up the inside of this potter die. What well, when Margaret says on the bead holder, Margaret, I don't know what you mean because I don't remember what I said. I have no idea. So, anyways, let me clean up this uh, Kevin Potter die. Hi, Marie. Okay, so hello, hello, hello. So let me go ahead and clean up this. If you could, do you guys who remembers me cleaning up these Potter dies? Let me show. Who remembers these? Do you guys remember these? Oh wait, overhead cam. I'm manning the cameras. Do you guys remember these? Who remembers me cleaning these all up during the show? Who remembers these uh, Potter dies? We did. We cleaned them up. Oh, Delrin jaws on the bead holder. Oh, I don't know, Margaret. Let me ask Yaro. So anyway, so I'm gonna clean up this one. This one. Oh yeah, let me record this. Can you do it before? Actually, let me do it before picture. I don't know. Yeah, well, that, uh, both. So anyways, I do. Mary says she does. Okay, so I'm going to clean up this one. For some reason, we only cleaned up the face. And right now, um, the girls were packaging it and they go, hey, why didn't you clean this one up? And I go, I have no idea. So you guys want to see how I clean up this powder dye with my new quick change, save your hands? Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to grab the, the 80 grit brush, the 3M brush right now. And we're going to clean that up. It's recording. Okay, so right here. Are you doing a side view, y'all? Whoa, look at all that stuff and the Joto vacuum just cleaning that all up. You see how nice it is when I have total control of the piece and I'm not navigating a flex shaft. Oh my God. And all the dust is flowing away from me inside. Oh my God. This looks so good inside the vacuum and not in my face. I think that that's it. Is it. Did we do it? Let me get into the little areas right here. How about we do that? So there. Wow. Look at that. You guys see this? Let's go overhead. Wow. I didn't even know I had those details. What? What? Dang, that was a deep dive. That was a deep dive. That was a deep. Okay, I gotta show my phone. Okay, so this camera. There you go. Perfect. Wow. See that? Okay, so now 
should we pull let's clean it up let's polish it a little bit more okay so i'm going to polish it a little bit more look i'll just do this and let's go ahead and put sorry my head's in the way i have a big head i guess sorry yarrow there we go big head all these big heads in the way so just really quick i'm not gonna go to all the super fine ones Yeah, it's a deep one. It's like a dome kind of a, kind of a, there we go. Look at that. Woo! Where am I? Oh, I'm overhead. Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to polish it. What should I polish this with? Hmm. I don't know. What should I polish this with? I have a few things I can polish this with. I can continue doing the brushes, but not everyone has the brushes. What if I take one of my, a uh, little, should I do my felt? What should I do? I'm trying to think. I don't want to put too much compound in it. Let's try, let's try my pink magic, uh, the flapper. Let's see what this one will do. I don't want to get compound lodged in it. Are you guys with me? So let's see how this works. We're getting a nice shine. I, I'm, oh, wait, where am I? Oh, wait, Yara. That's not a good shot, Yara. Do overhead if you're going to do it. This is really good. I think this is perfect. You don't want to do too much. You don't want compound lodged in it. This is good for me. I'm happy with this. Just look at that. You guys see the shine in there? Perfect. You guys see that? Look at that. It even got in there. You see that? I'm loving this. And that's it. I think this is enough to get a nice clean stamp out of this. And Suni will be happy. Really, really nice. Yep. Let me do the final shot on my phone. Yep, there we go. Let me turn off the vacuum. Should I clean the face up a little? No, it's fine. It's good. This is what's the main thing. So there we go. We got that nice and polished. I'm happy with this. So I so puffy buff. Okay, you you guys all said puffy buff. Should I try the puffy buff? I didn't try the puffy. Uh, Margaret says lucky Suni. <laughs> Have the professional diamond flat. Yes. So Linda, we are beginning to ship. That's a good question. We are beginning to ship the diamond flat tops. Pro, we are packaging them up today. So they will go out on Monday, right, Kimmy? Kimmy? Yeah. Yeah, we're packaging up the diamonds and we're going to start uh, printing all the labels out on Monday. Yep, all on Monday, hopefully done by Tuesday. So that's where we're at. Thank you for asking, uh, Linda. I've got so much on my head and uh, there's a lot. But you know what? Now that you said that, I actually want to try the puffy buff. Let's try the puffy buff. But this one is the, the compound. But who cares? Let's try. I can always clean it with the jewel tool. With the jewel tool. Yeah, where is that? Are you on the side cam or the side? No, Give it a little heave ho. Oh, that gave it a nice little je ne sais quoi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who, who said puppy buff? You guys deserve something. Okay, that actually was really nice. So look, here's my technique. Hold on, you guys. So if you guys don't want to clean out the, the the compound or use my cleaner, it's not that much compound. Look, you guys, you guys see that right there? But you guys can use the green brush and just cleans up all the compound. <laughs> because I didn't feel like going through all those steps. It didn't need it for this particular there, wow. Wowza gazowza, you guys. Look at the shine now. 
Woo! That's actually really pretty. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Yes, that's true. My jewelry cleaner would have been the answer. It's just I have it packed away because I just came back from a show in Atlanta. Let me actually show my. There we go. Yeah, I just came back from a show from Atlanta. And so all my stuff is, am I in the French thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my stuff is like scattered, so forgive me. So yes, yeah, so that's good. So Shuni gets that. Yay, Shuni, she's not even watching. Uh, thank you, beautiful. So anyways, so let me go back to uh, the drill bit. Because I know a lot of people have been asking. So anything that you have is even tiny like this or strange bits that you have or even the thicker, uh, the, the one eighth shank ones, like this one, this one, this one, even like this one. Do you guys see how they're different sizes? This one's thinner, this one's thicker. This is a one eighth. These, are, these two are very popular. And then when you get into these drill bits, you know, it's really hard to find, you know, the flight shaft to hold all these. You have to use like our jewel tool hand piece to do that. But if not, you can put these thin, skinny ones. And here's a little, you can just hold it too, and I'll tighten. Hi, Kimmy. And there we go. So you've got that. And let me drill another bead. Hold on, let me grab another bead. Let's grab another bead and drill that baby. I have another bead. Hold on. I'm looking for another bead. Hold on, guys. Oh, here's one. Here's a bead. So here's a bead, and I'll put it in the tool tool pro vise. Oh yeah, Margaret was asking, what's the material on these? Uh, yeah, it's a. She said a Delrin, which is yeah similar to Delrin. Yaro says it's similar to a Delrin. So again, look, you guys, if I want to do this, remember the pro vise. You just hold it right here. And just go right that yeah are you watching yep, yep. Right. so turn that on full speed ahead and you can go all the way down uh, now in the event that your uh, your bead or your drill bit is not long enough you can always flip it around but this one made it but like let me show you you can always flip it around and do the other side if your bead is too big does that make sense so let me show you how you can do that because it'll make sure it's nice and straight there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Take that bead out. And there we go. We have a nice, perfect hole on both sides. There you go. You see that? What? what see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So good. Okay. So there you go. But what's nice is, you guys, this will hold all of them. So you just it's just like your uh, save your hands. You just pop it on and twist. So if you don't have a save your hands or you've been wanting a save your hands to do all bits, not just one, and you didn't want to deal with those collets because the, old, the save your hands, you have to change collets if you want to change the size. Mm -hmm. You know, in this one, you don't have to change any collets. You don't, and they're, they're for an introductory price. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's like a chuck. Does that make sense? It's a chuck. Yeah, yeah, it's like a chuck, just a jaw. Opens and closes all the way to one eight, uh, one eight. So half a millimeter, even less, so like point nothing, all the way to a quarter, uh, one eighth size. So to hold everything, even random weird things. You know, this is great for if you're twisting wire. Remember so we were doing the wire? Especially if it holds like to go on the jewel tool spindle. Yeah, it's made to go on the jewel tool spindle. But you guys, this is great for twisting wire. I totally forgot about that. Oh, stop that. So because it has the ability to open and close, oh wait, where's the top view? You can put like wire and twist wire. Who remembers me twisting wire? Where's my wire? Everything is a, is a mess around here. I don't know where, oh, here's some wire. So if you guys remember, I twisted wire on the save your hands at some time, but you're limited to, uh, to on the thickness to make sure it holds with the Save Your Hands. Mm -hmm. But the Save Your Hands Pro Quick Change 
will hold any size wire because look, I have even a thicker wire. Yeah, here it is. Exactly correct. Because the jaws are infinitely adjustable. Yeah, infinitely adjustable. I don't know. Have you Thank guys you seen me it. make these wire uh, these the the twisting of the wire? It's really cool. Should I do it? I have to set my jewel tool on its side, but Yarrow. So like this is a thicker wire that I haven't used before. Because it's got that. Okay, Yarrow says just twist wire. Okay, we're gonna twist some wire. So this time I'll take a heavier gauge wire because because uh, we, we I couldn't hold this in the other savior hands. So I'll go ahead and do this one. Let's go ahead and cut this. Well, yeah, or just get another jewel tool. I have one right here. I know, but I have one right here. Okay. Yarrow is this, let them see how you do it. Go ahead, put the camera up. Yarrow is going to show you how to remove your uh, uh, jewel tool stone saw. Yarrow is laughing at himself. Are they watching you? You're watching? Yeah, I am. Yara's like, hang on, guys. <laughs> Yara's on the spot now. And look what I'm doing. I'm doing the wire while he's doing that. I'm getting the wire ready. Oh yeah, Yara. The one you guys have is the new one. This is, I get the old one. This is from back in, I told you guys, mine is back in the days of COVID. That's how old my disc is. Are you gonna put the save your hands on? Yeah, let's put the save your hands on it. So there, we're just gonna put the save your hands on it. Let me get this out of the way. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff happening. Sorry, but can you, t oh, you can't. You know, I can't do it like this. You got to unbolt it. That's why I said don't use this one. Because I need to hold the wire straight. I, I, I It's hitting the jewel tool. It's not going to go straight. So it's got to be unscrewed. Sorry. You are bolted that jewel tool down. And the wire is going to hit the other jewel tool next to it. So I can't use that. Mm -hmm. Why don't men listen to women at the first time? I have a perfectly nice jewel tool just sitting right here, ready to go. You guys see this one? And he said, no, don't use that one. I'll dismantle the whole stone saw for you to do that. Sounds illogical. Okay. So here we go. So Yaro, now that that's worthless, I need to go over here and use this jewel tool. Okay. Okay. It's on it now. Huh? It's on it now. It's on it now? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Let me get this off the back. So look, you guys, I really didn't even do anything. I just bent the tip. Just grab some pliers and just pinch it. There you go. That's all I did. So remember, you can use now heavier gauge. And all I'm going to do is insert it right here. Here, can you videotape this with my phone if you're not doing anything? I am doing so pretty quickly. Right here. So I'm just going to insert it right here, and it's cool. You just tighten it. There we go. Oh, it would help if I held this side. There you go. That's it. Ta da! God, I'm so smart. Jeez, takes a village, guys. Ready? Well, can you pull it back more, Yaro, so we can see the full wire being filmed? Better? Well, yeah, but just more the wire, less of the jewel tool. There you go. Yes, it's all my crap surrounding it. Thank you, Yara. Sorry, I just came back from Atlanta, so all my stuff is everywhere. So either I spend time to clean up or I go live with you guys. 
I choose, let's go live. Let's go live. Let's go live. Cause the music in the dun dun, she's gonna do no. Okay, so let's do this. No, I'm not ready. I don't know what I'm doing. So there we go. I should have even straightened it out, but it's good enough. So let's tighten that up. Let's rock and roll, people. Ready? And so we're gonna do this slow. Is this on? Yeah. Can you record it with that one? It's already recorded. Oh, okay. Can you get a good view? Okay, so here we go. Oh, shoot. Let me hold. Wait, shoot. Oh, here we go. Can you turn it on a little bit more? Yeah, can you turn it? Okay, well, it's better than me not doing anything. There we go. Okay, stop. Wow. Um, who saw that happen? Can you show more of the, hello? Look at how perfectly twisted that wire is. Um, it's 18, I don't know, let's read it, hold on. They gave this to me back in the day at Rio. Yes, it's 16 ounce, 10, what is this? 18, it, wow, who guessed 18? That's 18 gauge right there, yep. Wow, yes. And so even. Yes, you guys. So let me show let me show you guys how even that is. Look. Like Like no, no, no. Just look at me straight. Look at how even it is. Like so good because you know when you have the flex shaft and you're trying to do this, you have a foot pedal. There's so many uh variables that you as a laborer have to make sure are all working together so if you're uncoordinated that's a hard thing to do but if you're uncoordinated the jewel tool save your hands quick change will do it easily face to face covering as i love i am a wire artist i love it. i am the okay so look let me show you guys it up close ready so this was the actual tip. You see, it's actually wider than your, like this wouldn't fit into the old, this wouldn't fit into the old save your hands. Let's be, let's be real. That's a little thicker. So now I did a heavier gauge. Look at how perfect. I need something behind it. Let's just do this. Can you see that? Is that better, Yarrow? No, because it's the grip that you're holding in front of the camera. You need a solid. Oh, a solid. Palm in front of I don't want my palm. I know. I got something good. There we go. Is that good? Look at this. Look at how straight it is, you guys. So good. I had not planned on doing this today, you guys. So not planned on doing this. But look at how easy that was because the jewel tool is doing all the control. So the save your hands quick change is holding it. And when I did, all I did is I just put it on slow speed on the jewel tool, like the slowest speed setting as soon as you see it rolling. And you saw, I was the, I wasn't even holding it with the plier. The plier slipped out of my hand like the wires are going. But look, makes me look like the pro. Look how pro I am. Yes, it's an even twist. Thank you for that, Linda. So, you guys, it's a really, like, you don't understand. I really wanted to make the save your hands quick change because, like, there's things that you needed to hold. Just think of the things that you want, because it's got a jaw. It'll open and hold any size wire that you want to twist. But the other, the older save your hands won't allow you to do. You're only limited on the size gauges. But the larger gauges you can do, and the smaller, the thinner wire you can do with this too. Oh! So the larger wire, the thinner wire, you can do the whole array of twisting the wire. And you guys, it's at an introductory price after this weekend because I do have them in stock now. We, I told you guys, I was supposed to do it last week where we didn't have them in stock. 
Well, they arrived since then. It, oops, <laughs> my bad. Sorry, I'm not Kim Kardashian that orga orchestrates uh, the post, the video, and the email at the same time. I don't have that manpower, so it is what it is. So only this weekend, I it will be the introductory price. After this weekend, it'll go to the normal sale price. But you guys can get it on sale at the introductory price. It's really good price, you guys. I think it's eighty nine dollars for just the one, and then if you want the the kit with all the diamond. Hold on, you made one for me. I moved it. Oh, with all the diamond discs. That's also an introductory price. And we also have one with like the, the scratch eraser and the felt bobs. We have a kit with that too also. And all three of those kits are all at introductory price. Yeah, it is perfect tension. It, that's a really good... Uh, Thank you guys. I love how you guys help me. <laughs> I love it. I love you. Hi, Karen Miller Anderson. Hello, hello. So you guys, let's should we do something else? What else should we do? We did we twisted wire. We drilled through a bead. Trying to do all the things like, but it's just very quick. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a handy little sucker. And it goes right on your jewel tool. You guys saw that. Do you have a camera for this one? Yeah, that this third one. Yeah. So all like I said. I just put the wire in and I did that. Should we do it again or another wow, wire? I've never seen that. You've never seen that? Kimmy's never seen it. I, we ha Honestly, we haven't done it since uh, COVID. Last time I did it and the only person that did it on, like at their class was uh, Heidi. She did it on the Jewel Tool community post. I don't have any more wire. All right, that, that I don't have any more wire. But you guys want to see it again? Anybody? I got some more wire. Let's do wire again. Now, this time, I didn't bend the end of the wire. They're just two pieces. Let's see what happens with this. Will they hold two pieces instead of bending the end? Ooh. I know. I love putting, like, I love to put um, things to the test. And as you can see, they're wonky. They're not even, oh, Margaret, no worries. Thank you. You've been a doll here. Enjoy, my love. Yeah. So it's like all, like, so you don't have to worry. Some people, like, bend, like, rub it along their wooden tongue on their bench to get it straight. You know me, don't waste time. So look, let's try it. Let's just stick it right in here. And uh, no problem, any size, any fit. Any size, any fit, anything, any, anything works. <laughs> anything works. So just hold it right there. Let's give it a nice little twisty poo. There we go. That looks good. That looks really good. Hold on, let me just loosen it a little. Pinch it right in there. Yep, that's good. Okay, I'm excited. That's it. It's holding two separate ones. Is it still recording? Oh, it's still recording. Okay, there we go. Let me get this plier out of the way. You can see it in the back shot. There. I'm trying to see what my video looks like on my oh that's actually better what I just did there we go yeah the white helps okay so here we go let's let's get loud let's get loud here we go guys okay so I'm going to turn it on let's hold it there we go I'm holding it oh there we go hold on there we go. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Let's do it really tight. Oh. Well, I turned it on. If I turned it fast instead of slow, until instead of off. However, that's a really nice one. I'm going to show wow. you guys. I turned it high instead of low. I mean, off. Mm -hmm. But like, look, you guys, look how tight that that twist is. Look. Do you guys see it? Hold on. Very impressive. I know. I feel like Francesca's going to like this. Look at how tight. So let me show you what the other one looked like and how we how how I went high. And oops. Look, do you guys see the difference? Wow, this is like, look, this looks like something I had to buy. She said, so cool. You could use two different types of wire for a very unique look. Oh, yeah, you could. Oh, wow. This looks like something people sell. Like, I've seen this sold. 
Wow, what a pretty little design this will look if you put it like around the bezel. Thing did this actually. Um, Francesca on some of her pieces. Well, this is not exactly what I mean, but like you can put it like around a bezel. How pretty would this design look? You see that? It gives you that same effect. Wow. Yeah, you missed it. I turned it on fast and look what happened. Oh, wow. Yeah, oops. I t instead okay. of turning it off, I went high. <laughs> you know, good things happen when I do things on the impromptu here at the Jewel Tool. So, yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes the mistakes are the best. I was not planning on doing it this tight, but I'm digging this tight. It's really tight and consistent. But it can be heated and then hammered. Oh, let's just hammer it now. Hold on. That's a good one. Let's hammer it, Marie. Oh. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, Linda, I didn't see that. You can use two different types of wire for the yeah. Let's let's smush that last one. Hold on. Where where can I have a camera angle right here, Yara? Is that good? Sure. No, for real. Is that okay? Just let me focus on it. Okay, hold on. Focus on it. Okay. I don't even have a good hand. Where's my hammers? Um, it's okay. I have a decent, I have somewhat of a hammer. I will. Let's go ahead and cut this one off. Hold on. I, I, can I see this? I'm just going to yeah, cut this. Yeah. Let's cut this one. Yeah, let's flatten this sucker. Why not? You wanna, uh, you wanna record this? Sure. Let me first make it a little straighter because that's the wonky one. It's okay. It's all good in the hood. We're jewelers here. We can fix anything. Or oh, this is not even. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and make it flat. You can also put this through your rolling mill, guys. Oh, wow. That came out so pretty. And when you have a polished hammer, you get this effect. Let me show you. It looks like it's, um, it, where, where's the camera? Where, where am I? It looks like it's diamond cut. Can I do the overhead camera? Overhead camera. Yeah. So I can show you guys. Am I recording the wrong thing? Oh, oh, hold on. Look at this. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see how shiny that is? Mm -hmm. Can you guys see that for real? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. It's like a flat end one. See? Okay, that's cool. Okay, we, wow. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Now I caught the light. There you go. That's what I'm seeing. So when you guys have like a polished hammer, you can do that. It gets shiny. Like whatever you hammer gets shiny. So that's cool. Yay. All right. So anyways, so save your hands, quick change. Like I said, you can just boom, instant ring. I know, right? Right, Karen? So sparkly. And you know, you guys, with your jewel tool, if you ever want to highlight those, like those areas, don't forget, you can just grab your felt wheel and give it a little polish. And, or if you're scared to use your felt wheel or you don't want to, you can polish this up really quick with your pink magic buff because it won't catch it. Like, look. Just a quick little, if you don't want to get compound on it. Look at that. You guys see that? Yes, no, maybe so. Can you guys see that? Wow. Let me show my camera.
There we go. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Oh la la, right? So quick and like, you know, you, wow, I'm even impressed. Wow, that was quick. So you guys, if you're ever worried about using a felt wheel, the Pink Magic Buff, because it has these flaps, won't catch something like a regular buff wheel, just so you know. This is a little scary doing it here. Here, you know, even if you're scared to even hit it on the side, you can always even hit it on the bottom side. All that good stuff. Wow, this came out so pretty. Like we're gonna do this side again. You see how dull that is? Look at this, you guys. Oh my God, you guys see that? So Cheryl says, so bend that little piece on your main wheel on solder and you have a stackable ring. Oh my God, this would be a beautiful stackable ring. That, so cute, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a few stackable rings. You just talk to, you just start talking to the stackable ring queen. I love stackable rings. They're so in style. They're always in fashion. They never go out of fashion. Every jewelry manufacturer I know has a line of stackable rings. It's like they're money makers. Everyone loves a stackable ring. How cute. Cheryl just suggested make that into, I'll put that around your mandrel. Solder. Put a little stone in the middle if you want. Have some stackable rings. How cute is that? What do I have? Show it off. Yeah, like you just make a ring, but like look at how. And I flattened it. You can make it leave them round. You can leave them flat. I don't know. How would you bend it around? Huh? Yeah, you can bend it around with your hand. You can use all sorts of uh, pliers like this. You can start off like this and keep it going. Okay, right here. Yes, you can. I, I would use a ring one. This is more for a bracelet. I don't know where my ring one is. I'm not? Why? I can see myself. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I actually have an in, I have a more half round. Your half round is what you would need. This is, I don't know where my half round is. You're always making me do these things. And I don't have, I don't know where my half round. So if you want to listen, I know all of you guys have fancy ring makers and Pepe tools makes this, Durston makes this, but honestly, a $10 inside, like a, a half round uh, plier, that's all we would use to make rings. Yes, actually it's pretty soft, but yes, torch heat to soften it up. But I just, I don't have the proper um plier it's the half round do you guys know which one i'm talking about so it's a plier that looks like this well one is half round and one is flat i know i have it here somewhere but where it is nobody knows yeah i don't know i don't know where it is but anyways so it's a plier that looks just kind of like this but this one is like domed right here and so you would hold that dome part in this area and twist it. That's how we would do. No, this, yeah, I was like, like this, no, this is not, this is a round one. No, it's not, I don't have it. I don't see it anywhere. I don't know where it is. No, that's not it. So anyways, you know, leave it. It's okay. I, I have plenty of it. I don't know where it is at the moment. I think all, everyone knows how to bend the uh, wire. So anything, what else? Oh, and then you can also put the diamond ones on. Let me show this. So we have a set. If you guys want to get it with this, this is a great time. You just put this on like this, open that up. You can put one of the diamond cutting wheels on. If you don't have the stone saw or you want to do just something really quick, real quick, you can do it like this and you can slice like something really quick. Let's say you just want to slice something just super, super quick. Yeah. I just want I want to show that the dust goes there. Is it recording? It was perfect and then your phone switched on. Okay, so can I cut where are we doing here? I want to do side view, Yaro. I know. I swear you guys I'm gonna cut something, I promise. Stackers, I love stackers. Oh yeah. 
I see Linda commented. Hi, Vita. Vita's like, wow, I know Vita. It's so cool. I'm having so much fun, you guys. No, just hold it. Okay. It's going to take literally two seconds. Can you just hold okay. it? Okay. Yeah. There you go. I, I need side view. Yeah, well, I can't. So here you go, finally. There we go. There we go. Nice and trimmy poo. Okay, see that? So the runs really nice, you guys. So quick, so easy. It's a it's a handy one. If you guys can get it, you guys would love the new Save Your Hands Quick Change. Really, it just, I like, this is why you improve on things. It's just I couldn't get it done back then. Long story, well, it's COVID. And I've been working on it ever since because I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm like, you know me, I don't like call-its. What can I do? I'm I'm always... Everything that a man created, I'm fighting you guys so hard to change. <sighs> it's hard. Who invented these dumb collets, anyways? I need to know who. Who? Who are you? Who are you? I need to know because it's the. It's not practical. It really isn't. This day and age where things we need fast. We have phones that talk to us. That has. We have phones that tell. We tell what to do. You know, and then. We still have call it. I'm not doing that. So there you go. So it is on introductory price for only this weekend. Like I don't want I listen, I know people, I'm a softie, but really, you guys, I have them in stock. Look, I have multiple ones in my hands. Look, look, I have them in stock. They are in stock. We received them last week. I was supposed to do this. I was supposed to film this last week and do an introductory. So I apologize if they are, um, what's it called? What did I apologize for? Oh, if they're only a short amount of time on the introductory price. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have them as a set with the diamond. We have them as standalone. A lot of you guys wanted the Save Your Hands just by itself. I am able to offer this just by itself. So you can get just the Save Your Hands quick change on its own. See, I hear you. I do. I try. Okay, so that's that. And then what else are we going to do? What else do they have to show? Forgot. What else? What else we got? Oh. Um, 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 um. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Any other questions? How about let me do some questions real quick. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So I was just told I'm not on here long. So let me wrap this up with questions. Any questions, you guys? Any questions on anything? On your stone saw and anything? You guys have me for another five minutes. What do you got for me? While you guys decide... I was in Atlanta, Georgia last week. I went to the Metal Arts Guild of Georgia. They invited me there. And I met all these lovely artists. So if you were there, hello, it was nice meeting you. And all of you guys that came out to just see me in person, my heart is so full. That is so kind of you guys. I really appreciated that. And I got to see my wonderful good friend ricky frank if you don't know who he is he's a fabulous talented artist enamel artist he was there and i got to meet leslie lit in person which is one of the highlights of my uh travel the, she was she, yeah i love leslie lynn i actually got to meet her and i saw all her collection she had it all display for to sell at the event so that was fun. Okay, so you guys have no questions for me? No questions. Okay, you guys know everything. You guys, I'm all for you guys. I just want you to know I charge jewelers to have questions with me. <laughs> like, uh, you would like, no, if they have questions and they want their time with me, I consult and yeah, the larger manufacturers. So you guys have me at your disposal. So you guys, I'm happy 
Um, you guys have no questions. <laughs> Anyways, it was so good to be here. I wish you a fabulous weekend. Remember, the Save Your Hands is introductory price for this weekend only. Um, and we have them ready to ship. And if you have your uh, diamond uh, flat tops, um, we are preparing to ship those. Monday and Tuesday, we will ship them all out. If you want to add this to your um, if you want to add this to your order, just let us know so you don't have to pay the extra shipping. Uh, or if you want, buy it and we'll refund your shipping and Kimmy will combine and take care of you. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, yeah, Kimmy says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys, oh, thank you, Suni. You have a wonderful weekend too, my love. Thank you so much for your prayers. I love you. I love you all. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Oh, I'm going to be at a wedding tomorrow. Oh, it's a big, like it's a big fat Armenian wedding. You guys stay tuned. I'll post the pictures. I bought this really pretty gold dress. Okay, well, I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I was like, stop talking. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. See you guys next week. Bye for now. Take care. Oh, uh, I will. I will. I will post it. Sydney's so cute. She's like, so post some pictures. I'm sure you're going to, I hope. Yeah, so if you guys want to see like five more pictures of what you're up to, yeah, so if you guys want to like follow me, um, up, I post on all these, um, we're on, on social media. Ani Jutul, uh, Jutul USA is on Instagram, these two. A uh, Jutul official is on Facebook. I also have a Facebook which all of you guys already follow me. It's Ani Jolie. Um, it's, it was originally my Facebook page to help dogs because I'm very active in the dog rescue world. So I named that page um, my name and Jolie's name. So that is my personal Facebook page if you'd like to follow. Um, that's where the crazy stuff is posted. <laughs> so you guys, thank you guys so much for your love. Um, yeah, I was actually, oh yeah, you're so cute. Oh, thank you. I know. I hope the dress fits. I'm actually going to go pick up the dress from the alteration lady now. So before she closes, I have to finish up my work here and go there. So fingers crossed, you guys. Wish me luck. I love you all. You guys are like really the best. All right. Bye for now, you guys. Take care.